Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Panther News Nation. I'm Danielle Velasquez. And I'm Zawadi Yigi. Here's what's happening around Principia this week. Peter and the Starcatcher debuts this weekend in the Black Box Theater. Here's Issa and Skyler with a look at preparations. Much of the video in this story was contributed by Olive Mira and Jennifer Amundi. In the past, the Principia Theater Department has only put up one big show a year. Victims of their story. Production. But this year, they are introducing a fall play in the black box, Peter and the Starcatcher. So Peter and the Starcatcher is the fall play that we're doing. It's based on a book by Ridley Pearson, who was a Principia dad. And he wrote the book because while he was reading to one of his children, they asked how the Peter Pan story started. And so he thought, that's a great idea. And he went and told the, it's the prequel or the, the backstory to the Peter Pan story. Brave British frigate, the Wasp! That in turn became a play that was very successful on Broadway and now is one of the most uh, highly produced high school plays. And so we thought it was a great opportunity and we had the cast that could do a great job with it. Peter and the Starcatcher is a pretty unique show. It's very much a comedy. And it does have some songs, even though it's not a musical. So I think it's kind of a unique, creative story. It's not really like any other play I've done. The creative writing that I think it'll be really good and interesting and enjoyable to watch. The fall play differs significantly from production in the size of the cast, the location, the size of the audience, the type of show, and more. After Matilda, we wanted something that gave actors uh, new opportunities to play different characters and something fun. I've got a whole house to look after! Because Matilda had so many great characters and the story had so much to it that this story equals it in richness and the characters that, that the students get to play, so we thought it was a good follow-up. The cast has been working non-stop to get ready for the upcoming show this weekend. I think that it's different because it is a smaller cast and we are able to take on many different roles in the play. People are able to be used a lot more in the play versus the production. This is Skylar and Issa reporting for PNN. Tickets to Peter and the Starcatcher are still available. Meanwhile, academic support looks very different this year. Collins finds out why in this report. Mrs. Dry says supporting students is one of our top priorities. When I identify a student that has a GPA that might be a little low, then we like to put some structures in place that can support them to lift their GPA. Sometimes children know that they need help, but they don't know how to make that help happen. And so they might not seek out a quiet environment to get their homework done straight after school but when I say to them you need to come to this time you need to come and sit after school and get your work done that's helpful for them. Teachers say this new structure helps them as well. It creates a time and a place for students to get caught up. Part of our role is to help students develop a system because we want to see all our students succeed. If a student uses their class time really well and uses their study hall really well and not watching YouTube or games or whatever and make sure that every day whatever has to be handed in is done just day by day they won't get into the situation. For the most part students say they like the new support system. You know being able to check in with teachers and being able to get that support that you need to boost it I feel like it's very beneficial. Definitely focus on doing your homework and turning it in. For me, it was turning it in. We would love to see that students uh, take on that self-advocacy and self-responsibility. Think clearly, think vigorously, think fearlessly, think unselfishly, think tolerantly. If you get into bed at night and you know that all your homework is completed, it is a very good feeling. 
And so to chase that feeling of having everything accomplished before the next day will help a lot. This is Reid and Collins for BNN. Ms. Dry says so far, this new support system is working out really well. Boys soccer just wrapped up their season, finishing with several wins. Here's Emery and Derek with highlights. Our PNN team is always on the lookout for ways in which we can magnify the good going on around Principia. This week, we turn the spotlight on Paris Patterson, who was caught doing a good deed. She just recognized that, you know, it needed to be done and that somebody had, had left a mess and she just valued her space and community and the people around her enough to just take time out of her day to, to do that. What Mr. Fenden is talking about is Paris Patterson walking by these benches and cleaning up somebody's trash just because it was the right thing to do. It's just something that's expected of us and I'm very thankful for it to be a part of the prank community. As I came around the corner I saw that uh, a bunch of dishes and uh, glasses trash had been left on the picnic tables from the night before and Paris didn't see me coming but she was already over there gathering up all of the trash and the dishes and she came carrying you know an armful of dishes to go into the dining room. It's an act of service that Mr. Fennin says we should see more of at Principia. Having a mindset of what can I do for someone else today and when you're looking for those opportunities to give and to find a way to help someone then you see abundant opportunities all around you, whether that's picking up trash or holding a door or, you know, picking somebody's things up that they, they drop. And, and I think it's just that slight shift in, in your thought. This is Daniela Velasquez reporting for PNN. Be sure to let us know if you have an idea for magnifying the good. And finally, this week's Dry Care Factor turns its attention to the faculty. First, ask Mrs. Jai if she cares about juniors parking in the second lot. Ooh, juniors! Juniors! So I flippantly mentioned having our wheels locked. I think I'm going to investigate that with security. That if juniors are parking in the wrong place... I did have another solution. I thought we could just put a boom gate and then the seniors get a special 
swipey swipe, boom goes up, they can park in there. If you don't have the swipey swipe, you don't get to park. Yes, my care factor is 10. Do the right thing, juniors, park in the right spot. We then asked her, why is it important for teachers to be taking attendance? Because legally we have to account for every child in the building in every period. And so the teachers have to tell us where kids are. This is all where the unexcused tardies get have come from. This is where if a parent thinks that they've dropped their child off at school and they're not at school, where are they? So it's literally a legal thing. And so instead of Mrs. Ball running from classroom to classroom, she has now, I've asked her to please use the loudspeaker over the intercom to remind those teachers. So if it's interrupting your classes, care factor, zero. We need attendance taken. And that's our look at what's going on around Principia this week. Make it a great week. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So